the newest set of smart home standards called MATA was in theory supposed to unify all the systems. And one of the biggest selling points was that you'd no longer need a hub because the MATA sensors and devices could talk to each other directly. You'd just need a smartphone to set them up, which is brilliant, right? But along with MATA came a new wireless protocol called Thread, designed for low power sensors that could mesh together and make their own network, fixing a lot of the problems that arose from Z-Wave or Zigbee, which did require a hub. Also brilliant, only in order to connect that thread network to your home network, you need to physically bridge the messages somehow. You need something that would sit on the border of the thread network and route messages to or from your home network through Wi-Fi or Ethernet. And they called that device, wait for it, a thread border router. Genius. One might also call it a hub though. So much for not needing a hub. I'm James Roos, you're watching MatterAlpha.com, home of all things matter. Join me today as I explain thread border routing, bridging, and why you probably don't need to worry. But if you do, then here's why. So Thread is just one of the many networks that Matter smart home devices and sensors can run over. Others might join your existing Wi-Fi or plug into an Ethernet cable directly into your router. But unlike Wi-Fi or Ethernet, which your home network is already using, Thread is a different type of network. Technically, it speaks the same language, the same IP packets of data as any other computer on your network, which is why it's so easy for manufacturers to work with. The software stack is the same, so you don't need to translate messages from one language to another. However, while it's the same language, physically, the signal is different. So you need something that will move messages between the two signals in just the same way that your home router has both Ethernet ports and Wi-Fi, and it sends messages between the two. The thread border router does the same, but for thread. So if you purchase a matter over thread device like the Aquara P2 light and motion sensor, which runs on thread, you will also need a thread border router. So does that mean you need to buy some fancy new hub? Not necessarily. Because the Thread communications chip has been quietly added to a number of existing home assistants and smart speakers for the past few years now, you might already have one. This isn't an exhaustive list, but Google Nest Hub 2nd Gen or higher, a Hub Max or the Wi-Fi router and Pro Wi-Fi router, the Apple HomePod 2nd Gen, the HomePod Mini or the Apple TV 4K, as well as Amazon Echo 4th Gen, Echo Hub and Echo Show 3rd Gen or higher, will all do the job. But let me confuse you even more because some matter devices like the Nanoleaf lines, shapes and elements, lighting fixtures can also act as a border router. Nah, I'm not finished. Not all border routers will also act as a matter controller. The Wi-Fi routers from Amazon and Google, for instance, are not matter controllers, merely bridges to the thread network. So a matter controller is a separate concept. It's the brains of your smart home that allow remote access, automation, controls the security flow. But if you're watching this video, you probably already have a matter controller, so we won't worry too much about that. Typically, a smart assistant hub like the ones I mentioned above is going to be your controller. But you might not have a thread border router. Okay, let's introduce the concept of a bridge. Lastly, so what's the difference between a thread border router and a matter bridge? A thread border router is a type of matter bridge. It's one that connects to a thread network and bridges it to the rest of yours. Other type of matter bridges exist though for older smart home devices that aren't compatible with matter. For instance, the SwitchBot Hub 2 is a Bluetooth bridge, enabling you to use the SwitchBot automated curtains and other Bluetooth sensors on your home matter network. So this talks over Bluetooth to the SwitchBot accessories and then it relays messages back and forth to your matter controller. But the SwitchBot Hub 2 isn't itself a matter controller, so you do still need a compatible controller such as a HomePod Mini. The Acara Hub M3, meanwhile, is an all-in-one multi-protocol matter controller thread border router, Zigbee bridge, and infrared remote control bridge. So this brings both your older Zigbee-based Acara sensors into the matter network, and it works with newer uh, thread-based sensors, uh, such as this motion one. It even brings things like TV remote controls into matter, though you are limited to on-off only. 
The Akara Hub M3 is also a very competent smart home hub on its own, offering incredible automation powers and even has a little alarm inside it which you can upload custom sounds to. So if you were to build out a smart home from scratch today, then I would thoroughly recommend the Akara Hub M3. And you can get full HomeKit support on that, of course, as well as Google Home because this is matter based. So whether you use the Akara Home app, Apple HomeKit or Google Home, it doesn't matter. It'll all work with this. You can see our full review elsewhere on the channel. One last thing to bear in mind with thread border routers is that you need to think about range. While some thread devices, notably those that plug into the power at all times, like a plug-in socket, they'll act as a mesh node, meaning that they repeat the signal around your home. But if this is your first thread device, or if you only have battery-powered sensors in your home, then the range is about 25 feet, which is less than Wi-Fi. So that likely means that you can't have a sensor at one side of the house if your border router is on the other. Just something to bear in mind. As you can see, Matter is far from perfect and claims that it doesn't need a hub are misleading at best, but it's a lot better than the completely fragmented smart home ecosystems of the past. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit like if this helped you to understand the Matter system a little bit better, specifically with thread border routers. And do let me know in the comments if you have any questions, I'll do my best to help. Until next time, you've been watching MatterAlpha.com. I'm James Bruce.